desire or the operations of humans to divinity operates from two realms from the realms of words and from the realms of what thoughts that's why Ephesians 2 20 says that he can do exceedingly far above what we ask or we what think in fact more powerful than the realms of words are the realms of thoughts I've told us that the realms of words control the angelic the realms of thought controls the God realm because the realm of God is not the realm of the angelic the realm of the angelic is called the everlasting realm it simply means they have a beginning but they don't have an end the realm of God is called the eternal realm God has what no beginning no end that's why the angel said to Daniel the first time you set your heart to pray it was in your mind your prayers was hard but I am come for your words that's why the Bible now advised us that whatsoever thing is true Philippians 4 8 whatsoever thing is noble whatsoever thing is of good report is worthy of praise puts your attention on those things 